Hi everyone, my name is Pranab Bhagat and I am a senior developer advocate here at ServiceNow and in today's video I'm going to talk about security attribute which was released in the Vancouver release. So a security attribute is a highly configurable piece of information about a subject which can be a user, group or any record in ServiceNow when used in ACL or data filters provide you with a fine grain security configuration in a non-complex way. If I have to explain you in a one line, security attributes help you write security rules in a simplest way possible. Let's look into an example to see how it works. So we are into the instance now. The first thing I'll explain you is the use case that we are trying to do. For that, we have to go to the incident table. And let me open all incident. And let me open any record. So in the incident table, as you can see, I have created a new field steps to reproduce the issue. So what I'm trying to do is like if a user is part of the application development group, then only the user will be able to write to this particular field. So let's see how it can be done using ACL. So let me go into the ACL. In interest of time, I've already created this particular ACL. Let's open it and I'll walk you through what I have written in the script. So as you can see in the script, it's a very simple script. If the user is part of this application development group, then it should return the answer equal to true. If not, it should return the answer equal to false. So let me go ahead and make it active. Now, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to impersonate to able tutor who is not part of the application development group. And let's see what will happen. And let's go to the incident table. Incident dot list. And I'm going to open any record. You can see I'm not able to edit this particular field. Now let me impersonate to someone who is part of the application development group. In this case, the user is Arya. Let's go ahead and impersonate to Arya now. And now let's go into the incident list. I can do incident dot list and what I'm going to do is like I'm going to open this particular incident and you can see now I'm able to edit this particular field because ARIA is part of the application development group. Now let's see how we can configure the same configuration using security attributes. So I have to impersonate back to my admin account And to edit an ACL, we have to elevate our permissions. So let me elevate to security admin role. Let's go to ACL again. And let's open our the same ACL that we configured just now. Now, instead of writing the script, what I can do is like, let's utilize security attribute. I will just copy the name of the group and I'll just remove the script, close the advanced option and let's utilize our group security attribute. That is, let's put the group name here, application development. And I can quickly save this form. Now, Let's repeat the same testing that we did just now. Firstly, we're going to impersonate to able tutor. And I'm just going to open the same incident that I just opened. You can see the able tutor is not able to edit this incident. Let's impersonate to ARIA
and now let's go back to the same incident that just that we just opened i'll open this record now aria is able to edit it so that's how you can utilize security attributes in acls you can do the similar thing in data filters also now let's go into the security attribute and i'll show you what we get out of the box and here's the list of all the security attributes that are available out of the box i would recommend you to go through this list and play around with it so that you get some better idea about it and that's all i have for you in this video i hope you got some clarity about security attribute let me know in the comment section if you have any question thank you